Hey guys, so I'm super excited for another kind of like review video. Um, I've actually been really enjoying doing these, so let me know if you guys like them. But today we're going to be doing kind of like a battle between two BB creams that I recently found at the uh, drugstore, actually, specifically Target. Um, I believe they were like five cents difference for like price. Um, I think that the Rimmel BB cream was... $4.99 and then the NYC one was like $4.95. Don't quote me on that, but I do remember that they were reasonably like cheap, that they were like $5, not completely too expensive. So they're affordable and real nice. Rimmel BB cream. Uh, this one is, you know, a matte kind of BB cream. It has a 9-in-1 skin perfecting super makeup. So it's on the back here it's telling you a lot that it thinks that it will do for you so I'm gonna read that off to you guys and let you know what specifically this product is going to do for you so number one minimizes the appearance of pores number two even skin tone number three mattifies number four controls shine all day number five smooths six soothes number seven conceals dark circles number eight helps prevent blemishes, and number nine, gives all day coverage. So pretty much it says that it's going to do a lot of things for you, and I'm going to tell you specifically if it does that or if it flunks, so yeah. But then, on the other hand, on the other side of our arena, we have NYC uh, Smooth Skin Finny Parfait. So basically it's another BB cream, 5-in-1, and has 5 things that it says that it's going to do. It helps protect skin, protects Wait, pore minimizer, erase skin imperfections and minimizes fine lines, smooth skin, and brighten skin for a luminous and natural looking makeup. So let's go ahead and get started and see if these products actually do what they claim that they do. Now I want to start out by talking to you guys uh, about the actual product and how I, when I apply it, it looks, feels, and all that kind of stuff. So pretty much as I'm talking, you're going to see a little clip of me putting it on and all that stuff. So the first one I end up putting on is the NYC New York Color Smooth Skin Fini Parfait. Now as I said, it says that it has 5-in-1 um, kind of things, benefits that help your skin. When I first applied this, I put it on the back of my hand, I saw that it was a very kind of like a liquidy formula, but um, it was very kind of, it looked kind of like a highlighter. Uh, when I put it on, I felt like there was like specks of like a little bit of a luminosity to it. I don't know if that's a word, but um, I feel like you guys know what I'm saying. It kind of looked like it, it, it was meant to be a highlighter. Um, and then once I started applying it, um, I'm not sure if it's just the fact that the color was very light um, for my skin tone, um, because it definitely had, you know, this was light, it's the same color, you know, as the other BB cream, It's they're both light, but this one's a lot more kind of fair. And I want, want to like say that once I started putting it on, I felt like it was a very light coverage, something that I would call almost like a tinted moisturizer, um, maybe even less coverage than that. Uh, because my Aveeno Tinted Moisturizer gives me pretty good coverage. Um, but this one, I felt like I was putting it on and it was just giving me a nice glow. It wasn't very much giving me, like, a coverage. And you know when you have two sides of the face, you have one side that has, like, pretty much really bad blemishes and you're like, oh gosh, like, you know. And then the other side's kind of better. Well, I gave it the side that was kind of better and I still felt like it wasn't covering up as well as I was hoping it would be. So I feel like this would be a really great product for somebody who was maybe looking for something very light, very simple, something for every day. Um, number one, it says it helps protect skin. Now, I'm not too sure about that because it doesn't have any uh, SPF, as I can see. Like, it doesn't say SPF 15 or anything, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, so, whatever it says by helps protect skin, who knows. Uh, the second one it says is a pore minimizer. Um, I know what pore minimizing looks like. This one doesn't do it. It really, it just kind of highlights it um, because it's such a, like, a luminous... Um, product. It highlights so it doesn't look like your pores are as bad, but it doesn't minimize them. I wouldn't say it minimizes. It erases imperfections and minimizes fine lines. I wouldn't say that either. Um, it definitely gives me a nice uh, look, but it doesn't give me... it doesn't erase skin imperfections. Maybe if you layered it a little bit more, but I even tried two layers of it and it didn't cover as much as I wanted it to, so... If you really don't have many imperfections that you need to cover, this would be a great product. It's very cheap and very affordable. Um, 
fine lines. I felt like they were still there. It just, you know, this one didn't crease as bad as um, some of the other products I've used, so I would say that you, it gets that. And as for smooth skin, um, my skin did look smooth. It looked kind of, when I first put it on, I felt it gave a glow, and I looked like it was healthy skin. It did look smooth. Um, I would say set it with a powder or something if you wanted it to last all day. I did feel like the powder helped a little bit. And then the last one is Brighten Skin for a Luminous and Natural Looking Makeup, which is something that I do say it does. So out of all of these, I would say two and a half is what it like actually does for me. So five in one, I would say it's more two and a half in one. Um, I do like this product, but let's go see what the other BB cream can do. Now as for the other BB cream, which is the Rimmel London BB cream. Now for this one, again, I'm going to show you how I'm applying it and tell you exactly what my first look and my first opinion of it was. So when I first put it on the back of my hand, um, I noticed that the product was a lot more liquidy than the other BB cream I was using. It was very light and it didn't feel much like it was um, heavy, you know what I mean? So basically, as I started applying it, I noticed that it was very, very nice coverage. It was covering on my imperfections that I wanted to cover, and if you guys didn't notice, I actually on my lower chin have a little bit of a rash that came up. I'm not really sure if I'm allergic to something or if it's uh, cirrhosis or eczema or what it was, but I'm definitely going to go check a talk to a dermatologist about it, but um, it covered that and I was so so happy because that is a big thing that a lot of my foundations, even full coverage foundations could not do. And as I'm applying it, it looks like it's, you know, nice and shiny and gives me a nice dewy glow, but when I actually wore it throughout the day, it gave me a very very nice um, uh, matte look. And even like after you apply it on, like if you swatch it on your hand, it does have a matte finish. So do not be alarmed. So as for the 9-in-1 skin benefits, I wanted to tell you guys what I specifically thought of each. So the first thing it says is it minimizes the appearance of pores. This is not necessarily true. I really don't like the fact that both these BB creams say that because I feel like it does not minimize pores. Um, at least not for me. I feel like it just covers them but it doesn't minimize them. That, I've used my Benefit pore erasing thing and it has helped, but this I feel like they are both kind of bluffing. Um, as for the second thing, it says it evens out skin tone. I do agree with that. My skin did look good. Um, it mattifies, which is true. Controls shine all day. Um, I would say yes because it, it is matte, um, although I don't get oily often, so I wouldn't know necessarily if it would help completely if you have a really oily face. I'm not sure if that would, you know, if it would work for you. Um, it smooths skin, so yes, and then it soothes. I'm not sure if soothes is the right word for it. It, it, it It's nice on my skin. Um, it also says that it's non-comedogenic, so that means it does not clog pores, which is perfect for oily skin people and people who break out easily. So it's something that I really do like about this, so I would say it soothes just because of that. Um, conceals dark circles, that is BS. It does give really, really good coverage, but my dark circles cannot be covered by anything but my concealer. So that's something I would say. And then number eight helps prevent blemishes. I wouldn't know because I haven't worn this long enough. And then number nine gives all day coverage. I would say that is very, very true. Alright, so basically after all of that and noticing exactly what each one can do and cannot do for me, um, I would probably say, you know, I like them both in different ways. Uh, the NYC one I feel like is very nice for anybody who's maybe in middle school and, you know, really just, you don't really need that much makeup or you really just wanted to try to like, you know, make your face glow a little bit, look a little bit better. This is something I'd say you'd probably want to invest in. It's something for $5, very, very cheap. It gives you a really nice glow, very nice, like, you know, healthy looking skin. Um, it doesn't have SPF or anything like that. I don't see it in here. But it's definitely something that, you know, will help you and will make you look a little bit cuter, better, and whatever. But, um, yeah, like, it smooths your skin out. So this is probably somebody with, like, an everyday thing, very, you know, nice skin, very simple, like nothing, nothing too intense. And you can tell from the bottle, it's like kind of illuminating. <laughs> but then for the BB cream from Rimmel, I would say this is a must in every girl's makeup bag because it's so cheap and it's so nice. I loved it as soon as I put it on. I was so excited. I loved it so, so much. Basically, 
it doesn't do all nine things out of this thing. I think it does like seven, maybe even six. But it's still five dollars. It gives really nice coverage. It's matte, and in general, it just it doesn't it's it doesn't clog your pores, and it's so 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 nice. Uh, the packaging is very nice. I do definitely like the little squeezy tube. That's my favorite. Um, I hate pumps and that stuff. That kind of just they always end up squirting on my shirt and I end up having to switch my outfit. It's never okay with me. But yeah, so I really like that. Um, it's also, I like that it says broad spectrum SPF 15 on the thing. So now I know that this has SPF 15. So this is going to be my go-to spring and summer product from the drugstore because you know, you need SPF in your products, and if this has it, that's great. It says it's a beauty balm, uh, skin perfecting super makeup. Now, it's probably not super, but it's a mediocre makeup, so you might as well go ahead and pick it up. So then out of five stars, I would say that for this one, I would probably give it like three stars, maybe two and a half, just because it really doesn't do anything for me. I probably will not be repurchasing it. It really, it's like if I wanted to just not wear makeup one day and I was like, you know what, let me just put this all over my face and that was pretty much it. Um, with this though, I feel like I would need more makeup and stuff to cover up like blemishes, but again for a middle schooler, I think this would definitely work. Then for this BB cream, I would say I would give it, mm, out of five stars, I'd say four, just because it is nice and matte for because it does a lot of the things that it promises it's supposed to do, but it does not cover dark circles. It doesn't minimize the appearance of pores. And I'm, I mean, overall it's a nice product, but I feel like just because they're telling me all this stuff, it's kind of like they're lying to me, and I don't like being lied to, so like, oh, I'm just going to give them four stars. Um, also because, I mean, I feel like it's a very nice everyday product, especially from the drugstore, but there are better products at the drugstore and, you know, higher end for your, your face, although I do think this is very good for the price and very, very, very good for the things that it actually does for your skin. So out of both of these, I would say if you're under the age of 13 and you have very nice skin, definitely go ahead and pick up the NYC BB cream. It's probably perfect for you. But then if you're somebody who needs a little bit more coverage and probably need a little bit more, you know, cover up and stuff like that, this BB cream is probably better for you from the Rimmel line. Um, also, if you have very sensitive skin, try to steer clear from this NYC one because it doesn't seem like it has SPF and it does seem like it kind of clogs pores to an extent, but it is water-based, so it's very nice, simple product. Um, very, very good for middle schoolers, but this is by far my favorite out of both of them, especially with the similar pricing, so thank you so much for watching, and let me know if there's any other products at the drugstore that you guys would like me to review or talk about, um, any, like, verses. I love doing those. They're super fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!